Hi guys. In this video, we're going to talk about the three things that you probably need to know before we can actually proceed in Math 1. Uh, the first thing that you need to know uh, through prior knowledge in your math classes is the order of operations. The order of operations should be in this way. It should be parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, then addition and subtraction. Now, there's, there's been a couple ways that you can remember this in the past. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, I've heard it as PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S, which is all of the first letters put together. And I've also heard people say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, two ways to help you remember the order of operations. Well, let's talk about each one. The P, the P stands for parentheses. Parentheses are the grouping symbols. What it says is the order of operations states that all grouping symbols must be handled first. Okay, and we're, I've got, got some examples here that I'm going to show you. In just a second. Uh, e, e is for exponents. Any powers, any squares, or uh, anything raised to a different power must be taken care of next. Then we have multiplication and division. Actually, the multiplication and division go together um, because division is a type of multiplication. Uh, division is actually the multiplication of a fraction. Okay, so if you didn't know that, the division is just a special kind of multiplication. Then last we have the addition and the subtraction. Uh, just in the same way as division is the uh, type of multiplication, uh, subtraction is a type of addition. You're just adding a negative number. So uh, to review, we got PEMDAS, we have please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and we have the order of operations there, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay. Well now, I want to show you some examples. We've got three examples on the board. Let's work these out together. All right, the first example we have here states that we have 2 times 4 plus parentheses 7 minus 6. I'm using really simple numbers here for you. Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's what we're going to put down here. Put it down at the bottom. Okay. The P, we need to check off each one as we go. The P, we need to take care of all parentheses. Here's our parentheses set in here. We need to do this first. So I'm actually going to subtract 7 minus 6 and get 1. Okay, I'm going to bring everything else down. 2 times 4 plus 1. Parentheses are taken care of. Exponents, there are no exponents, so I don't have to worry about that. Multiplication and division. It does not matter the order. If it's a division first, divide first. If there's a multiplication first, multiply first. Okay. We only have one single multiplication, it's 2 times 4, which gives me 8. Bring down the plus 1. So multiplication and division are taken care of. Last but not least is addition and subtraction. Uh, again, once again, it does not matter. If the subtraction comes first, do the subtraction first. If the addition comes first, do the addition first. That's why they are grouped together. So 8 plus 1 is 9, so we end up with an answer of 9. Okay. Same thing, in the next problem, I'm going to write down again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Remember that multiplication and addition and subtraction go together. We have a problem here. It's parentheses, and then another parentheses inside of that. It says 2 times 8 plus 6, close parentheses, divide by 4. Okay. This is where we get kind of uh, our order of operations really comes in handy. It says do parentheses. But when you go inside of the parentheses, it's like you're starting the, the operations over again. So you need to look and treat this as a different problem. We have parentheses inside of parentheses. This is where we start, the 2 times the 8. If you have nested parentheses, that's parentheses inside of parentheses, you work your way from the inside out. Okay. So we're going to do the 2 times 8 first, and that's going to give us 16. Okay. And then I'm going to bring down the add 6. And that's inside the parentheses. And don't forget to bring out the divided by 4. Okay. We still have parentheses to take care of. So 16 plus 6 is going to give me uh, 22 divided by 4. <clears throat> so all of our parentheses are taken care of now. No exponents to deal with in this problem. Now it's a multiplication and division problem. There's division left. So we're going to divide 22 divided by 4. Well, 22 is not equally divisible by 4. So we have a fraction left over, 22 over 4. And I'm going to go over simplification here. I'm going to divide by 2 on the top and the bottom, and that's going to leave me with 11 over 2. 
and actually that's a, a simplified fraction there. I can leave it as 11 over 2. I can also say that this is 5 and a half, or I could say it's 5.5 .5 if you do it on the calculator. Any one of those is correct for this problem. Of course, we did the division. There is no addition and subtraction in this problem, so we are finished. Okay? The last problem says 4 squared plus 6 times 7 minus 9. Order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? Parentheses. No parentheses in this problem. Exponents. There is an exponent. We have 4 squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. Please do not put 8. That's where people mess up. Um, it's not 4 times 2, it's 4 times 4. Okay, bring down the rest, plus 6 times 7 minus 9. Okay, all exponents are taken care of. Now it's multiplication division. There is a multiplication there. I'm going to multiply 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, bring down the rest, plus 16, and then a minus 9 on the end. All the multiplication and division are taken care of. Last but not least is addition and subtraction. If you have totally addition and subtraction, you're going to work from the left to the right. Okay. Again, we have addition first and subtraction. If it was the other way around, if it was 16 minus 42 plus 9, we would still work from the left to the right. Okay. So let's add. 16 plus 42 is going to be 58. And then 58 minus 9 is going to give us 49. So 49 is the correct answer that you should get there. Remember PEMDAS, please excuse my dear self. <laughs>